Alright guys, welcome. Today we're playing some Frostpunk. Um, if you don't know what Frostpunk is, basically it's a game where the frozen apocalypse happened. Basically an ice age, and this big generator in the middle that basically heats the whole city. And uh, on top of that you defeat it with coal, there's other political problems, and you can go down two different political routes. Um, so yeah, there is other DLCs for it, but I'm just doing the base game right now. Um, this one is just going to kind of be... A little before and after of a city I did. It was in uh, the canyon map, and uh, when I load in, this is kind of the story about the sea here. And this is of, of uh, a post. The stale, oh, I'll let that cutscene play. No horizon in sight. The rulers of old, stripped of pride and glory. It feels as yesterday we were turning the wheels of progress. Until the frost stopped it all. Suddenly, without a warning. When tides had changed, they changed for all of us, no matter wealth or class. We have lost our world to snow. And with it, our last traces of humanity. Bid farewell to plenty, and for those who remained, came the time to adapt. We decided to leave our homes and head north. We roamed for weeks, maybe months, leaving behind all the things we once believed had made us. It was hope pushed us forward, slowly, step by step. We knew the cost of our journey, and we paid the price a hundred times. Finally, the time has come to build the last city on Earth. what it was i'll read this here we fled from london and crossed the sea to reach the frozen north on the way Han was hit by blizzard and scattered a handful of us managed to reach the site of the generator only to find it frozen solid abandoned why is no one here did any of our people survive the blizzard are there any others out here whatever we do should expect the worst now that the world as we know has crumbled all right so that was the start little intro um this is the first part of the gameplay and i'll be loading in the next recordings uh, this just is you know post uh post gameplay kind of before and after the city um so yeah i'll uh, get into it all right the intro's a bit dark in my opinion i thought it was a really good intro when i first watched it i was like damn I like the cinematics too, the art style is very good. Alright, here we go. I will be showing uh, this one, which is a bit shorter clip, and then I'll be showing a kind of showcase of a canyon map I was playing uh, yesterday. Uh, I didn't do too much recording, but I did do a, like a kind of like uh, recording when I was done with it, and it looked really good. I kind of built out the whole entire thing, and I kind of just was able to have so much coal that, you know, really any form of uh, storm just didn't even bother me, so. It was getting a little bit boring, so I didn't take any more like you know recording of it. But I'll show you that after uh, this part. All right. Oh, maybe this is me trying to make a road system, but I'm fucking failing. All right, resources workforce. Yeah. I'm playing on console. For those who play PC, um, it's basically the same thing. Uh, surprisingly, the console interface is actually a lot more comfortable than I'd expect it to be for a game like this. Um, it really works well on console. I mean, the lag can start to happen when you get like to high numbers, like a thousand people, but it's it's not that bad. And the game just looks really good. 
over here. I'm trying to fix my food crisis. And Hunter's Huts, if you did not know, for those who play this actual game, um, they don't require heating, so I put them on the very outside of uh, my map. That kind of helps me a bit. End of shift, <laughs> End of shift already. No roof over our heads. <laughs> oh my. It's probably one of the worst gameplays I've ever done. I failed miserably, by the way, for those who want to know. This did not work out well. I failed in various departments. And I just quit. But I will show you a city after this that did work. Wood crates. Just sending people to work on the coal there, because we need the coal to get the generator going. Yeah, of course. We must, yeah, we must gather some coal first. Discontent's already that high, Christ. Yeah, discontent's what's really got me in this one. Alright. Alright. Got those hunter's huts going, so we'll be getting some food. There we go, generator's on. understand what I ended up doing because all of this is a big waste of time because eventually I just die all right so here towards towards the end of my demise I eventually die um, people just get frost by people are just dying uh, I did not maintain this I believe I died after like a few minutes after from this I died yep this is right where it started discontent sort of just skyrocketing. Alright, I'm gonna show you something though that I did really well in Frostbung. This is a little showcase of a con what is it? Not convoy. Canyon that I made. And uh I built this like all the way out. So I'm gonna do this is just a kinda like slow increment over the whole city. It's all coal. It's <laughs> just all coal at that time. Like look at look at my you know stuff on the top. I'm just maxed out on stuff. Got factories, some guard towers Tons of automatons, heaters everywhere. Alright. More hunters' huts. Yeah, that's like the main part of the city. Got some uh, more coal refineries there. Propaganda center we just passed over. That's the main generator in the middle there. And uh, as you can see, my people are very comfortable. And literally, all of it's red. Alright, over here, it's like a big security checkpoint basically. It's a big open ground in the middle with a heater. And if you want to get to this idea, go through that little security checkpoint, a little you know, aesthetic value to it. This is a big storage area. A lot of storage is here, but I still heated it well. Uh, we got some bot local gardens and uh, some open spaces just kind of chilling. You know, shit tons of lamps here. Some fight pits, coal mines. They're, they're all automated with automatons. And just, yeah, just really more storage is basically what I had. I believe I'm on, let's see here, day 97, so I was doing really good with it. But you can just see, I built out this whole entire thing, insanely. I put all the prisons here, early game, because it was really cold, I had to heat it up basically, but, you know, they always complain about the heating situation, so I got rid of it. I have such little room to work with, it's insane. Kind of scares me a bit. Over here, I'm just making some extra cook houses, and then because I, I have so much food, we gotta like make it into you know better food, basically the the raw food into cooked food. Uh, yeah, I, I I was just so stocked with coal, wood, steel, you know, food, all that stuff. It was insane, and I just pumped steam cores out with my uh, scavenger groups. Like scavenging is what you want to do if you want to get quick resources and a lot of steam cores. It's just mass spam automatons. That's what you gotta do because automatons can work in storms, which means you can continue coal production and you know you last longer. And p put your generator on overdrive in storms because it can last around the day on overdrive if you just manage it well. 
and uh, that's usually just beat the storm. So you, I mean, like even if the heating is not the best, you're gonna usually survive unless you have really bad heating, and you're you know you're already unstable in terms of discontent. And uh, healthcare in this game is what really really fucked me over. But that was my city, my little canyon game. I just continue it, just you know, sending out scout parties here there, just some more overviews of the city. But it's really built out. I thought it'd be kind of cool to see. Um, if you want me to do like a full Frostpunk campaign playthrough where I don't die, I'm happy to do that. Uh, if not, and you want to just uh, continue with what the other games I'm doing, um, for sure request it, put it down in comments, leave a like, subscribe, and I uh, hope you have a good day. Alright.